Hello friends, in the previous session we learnt about first normal form of normalization. In this session we are going to move on to the next form which is 2NF and the condition for 2NF is that a relational schema R is in 2NF if it is in 1NF and it does not contain any partial dependency. Now for 1NF we have already studied how to convert a relational schema into 1NF. You can please view the previous video in case you have not seen that. And uh, now next we move on to a partial dependency. Let's see what is a partial dependency. For partial dependency we say that it is a subs when a subset of a primary key or a candidate key refers to or implies a non-prime attribute. Now let's see this within the help of an example. The example over here is of that of a relational schema containing five attributes A, B, C, D, E and we have its functional dependency set uh, stated over here which has one, two, three, four, four dependencies. Actually this is a combination of two dependencies so you can also say it contains five dependencies. So we just need to find the primary key, right? You already know how to find a primary key. Uh, we've already seen that with the help of the first video of this session. In case you have not seen, please view that previous video. Uh, so we start with finding the closure and I can see that finding the AB closure would serve the purpose. So AB closure gives AB then the attributes reachable from AB, CD and from C I'm going to uh, get D and from D I'm going to get E. So this basically forms our candidate key or primary key. You can also see that there is no other combination which uh, yields all the attributes hence this is the only candidate key or the primary key for our table so now what are the proper subsets of AB the proper subsets are A and B right and the prime attributes prime attributes are the attributes uh, being covered in the primary keys or the candidate keys since there is only a single primary key over here the attributes would be A comma B right and the non-prime attributes are all the remaining attributes, so they are C, D and E. Now, clearly if we see this B to C dependency, the left hand side is a proper subset of this primary key and the right hand side is a non-prime attribute. Hence, this is a partial dependency. So, since the partial dependency is occurring in this relational schema, it is not in 2NF. And how do we convert it into a 2NF form then? We convert it by breaking the table into two decomposition tables such that the partial dependency occurs in a different table or a different relational schema. So the partial dependency was B to C. So B to C, B and C are occurring in different table. Now other thing we need to see is the two checks that we had discussed earlier, the lossless decomposition and dependency preserving. So for dependency preserving, we know that we should be able to get all the functional dependencies from these sub relations as we were getting from the basic relation right so b to c we are getting in order to get c to d i need c and um, yeah i need c and d in the same table right so i would have to insert d itself over here right and again to get d to e I need to insert e also in this table now similarly in order to get a b to d we need what we need a for a b to d for a b to d over here we need to insert this d again on the side of a b right so and also a b to d is not a partial dependency since left hand side is a b which is a which is not a proper subset of our primary key it is the real subset it is not a proper subset proper subset basically by proper subset we mean something less than the original right so a b can be here and d can be here with it right now let's check that whether it is a lossless decomposition and dependency preserving or not first for lossless decomposition we know that there were two checks in case you want to recall you can please view the previous video i am starting with the intersection process r1 intersection r2 as you can see are b and d b and d are common so we perform its closure bd closure is b d and we check the other we check the functional dependency set for the other things from b i am able to get c right and from d i am also able to get e so i have added c and e over here since there are no other attributes which i am able to reach with bd this is the bd closure and if I see BD closure is able to determine R2, which contains only B, C, D, E, 
right so this is able to determine r2 now i check the union condition clearly r1 union r2 is giving me all the attributes a b c d e which is equals to r hence it is lossless so lossless check is uh, performed it is lossless and now let's check with the dependency preserving part so over here we have r1 and r2 over here with us uh, now the functional dependency set is also listed over here we just need to match the dependencies present over here with the new relational schemas from here i'll be able to get ab goes to d from here i'll be able to get b goes to c c goes to d and d goes to e c goes to d d goes to e b goes to c and with the combination of ab goes to d and b goes to c i'll be able to get ab goes to cd hence i am able to cover all the functional dependencies as were present originally hence i would say the relational schema breakdown is dependency preserving also so we have done with 2nf in this part and we'll be moving on to 3nf and other normal forms in the next following sessions please keep following the channel and keep viewing the upcoming videos in case you have any feedback you are please uh, welcome to post them in the comment section below in case have you, you have any doubts you can please enlist them in the comment section thank you for viewing the video see you in the next session